Let's head over here to the streets of Boston here, man. In the next game here, we have the Boston Celtics here coming off a game where they absolutely torched the Nets, and they were, they were up 30 in the first quarter in that game. Now they're laying nine points at the house versus the Phoenix Suns, and this one get back nine. Line did open up at 10, has since come down a point here for the Celtics. Celtics are laying minus 400 on the money line here at the house. If you'd like to go with the Suns to get the outright win, you can get back plus 320 on the money line with the Phoenix Suns. Over and under sitting at 220 and a half in this one, Alex. Um, obviously, I mean, the Celtics are, are looking like juggernauts once again. Still only one and six against the spread last seven games. But uh, if you go look based off the last game, looks like the Celtics are about to go on another run here, Alex. Do you think that there was, uh, do you think the Celtics keep it going here? I think the Celtics should comfortably win this game. Is it going to be by nine points? I'm not sure. Um, I actually came with a number that's a little smaller here. And I think part of it is um, it's, it may be hard to make a number Phoenix on the road versus at home. Um, you know, they've been really, uh, you know, one way that one way at home and a much worse way on the road. I mean, uh, we've seen them really get together. It's kind of the power of the organization, if you will. The team has had a lot of bumps in the road this year, a lot of injuries to deal with. And they've somehow sort of gotten themselves together here and quietly have won, what is this, six of the last eight games that they've played now again a lot of those at home they start this road trip here it's a front night of a back-to-back -back. they're going to be in detroit tomorrow so a really rough spot for them but if they're ever going to be locked into a game it's going to be tonight right you bring out everything tonight who cares about tomorrow that doesn't even really matter you could probably win that game anyway so i think that this is maybe a good spot for phoenix but I don't want to back Phoenix on the road. At the same time, like you said, Boston's been winning. They've been playing really good basketball, but haven't been necessarily covering as much. Yes, they're coming off that huge blowout of the Nets, but I kind of actually lean Phoenix here as much as I hate saying that. So just going to tuck this one away. Yeah, no, it's a great point, man. I I, be, I actually kind of lean Phoenix here as well. Not enough to take it. They do have revenge. They got smoked earlier this season um, in Phoenix as well. They still have Booker in as well. So I believe it was, what, 128.95 on December 7th that they got uh, smacked up at the house. Um, be personal, I don't like backing teams that's coming off a huge win like that. But you definitely uh, uh, make some good points there, Alex. Chris, how are you looking at this game? Do you think the Celtics take the Suns to smack City uh, tonight again? I, I think they do. Of, of course, I don't like the fact that you two don't like uh, the Celtics tonight. But, you know, they, they, this is a really good spot for the Celtics, right? They're staying at home, you know, two, you know off that game of um, after Wednesday, but they they didn't have to put much effort, really, in the second half after they went way ahead um, in that one. And, you know, not so much for Phoenix, right? They're at the start of a week-long road trip here. And there's a few games they could win. You know, they got Indiana in there. They got Detroit. But, I, you know, I don't think this is one of those spots. And if you look at the Suns and some of their wins recently, sure, um, you know, they got some good wins, but they were blown out by better teams. They got blown out by Atlanta pretty badly at home in that last game, Denver, Memphis, Cleveland. Uh, you know, we talk about the Celtics, obviously, you know, well-known at this point, but uh, it, they're kind of like the Eagles in football. They just present a lot of matchup problems when you face them. And you have a Suns team now who I know they've been used to this roster for – a little while now, but you know, you're without Shamet, Payne, uh, you know, obviously Devin Booker is still out. It, I just think it's really tough for them to keep up with a team in a comfortable spot like the Celtics at home. The only team who can beat the Celtics tonight are the Celtics. And I don't know if, if the Suns are just going to be able to keep up. Also, you know, trade talk circulating now around Phoenix. Everybody's interested in OG Ananobi. You know, some of the aspects of that are, you know, would they even consider trading Chris Paul, trading some of their players? I mean, I don't know what good things that does for the organization. This kind of just seems like a Phoenix team that's in flux right now. And one thing I like for the Celtics, uh, and one thing that worked out really well for them in that in that previous game too, the Celtics shoot 10 more three-pointers per game than what Phoenix is used to. Teams average 31 uh, three-point attempts against Phoenix. The Celtics average 41. And, the you know, Phoenix is not a great perimeter defense these days. And, you know, the size – the scoring ability of these Boston Celtics at home, I just think it presents too many matchup problems. I am going to take them to annihilate the Suns tonight. Um, again, they don't play again. The Boston Celtics don't until Monday. So this is a great spot. You have the weekend off. Take care of business. Hopefully they get it done and covered tonight. Yeah, that's a great point there, Chris. Uh, a little standalone going for the, for the Celtics here. They hadn't had to travel anywhere. It is the first game on the East Coast after a little homestand for the Suns as well. So you make some great points there with Celtics. Our guy Chris rocking with the Celtics. Minus nine official, my guys, uh, in this one, man. So uh, we got we got official play on this game, guys. Yeah, so, uh, Celtics minus nine in this one.